Hey, what's up with it, Hoonies peeps? How y'all doing? Hey! I'm going to wait for some of you guys to hop on. Hey, friends. No, well, I'm just here. I got the lights off. Don't don't pay me much mind. I might turn this one on real quick. I might do this one. Hey, I hope everybody's doing good uh, this evening, friends. Um, I, I got a lot of messages, and I'm behind on messages because whatever happened in the Southeast, friends, whatever happened in, in the southeast part of houston yesterday night it like everybody is like looking into seeing who these people are and they didn't wear no mask and it was just like so much of friends i'm bombarded with messages i'm i'm so bombarded with messages and then like people are sending me um tiktoks from my own live feeds i'm like why are you sending me this i'm the one that recorded that it's just crazy it's crazy stuff like my own live videos are being made into tiktoks and then people are sending me that i'm like you don't hear the voice that's my voice hey how are you doing judy what's up friends como están man i gotta stop being like my my idea of humor sometimes comes with sarcasm <clears throat> and people don't even know when i'm being like humorous like I don't know, friends. I, I need to tone that down because then y'all be thinking I have attitudes and stuff. The only, the only, uh, the only attitudes I really catch are the ones in Messenger when people are like bombarding me with like fake stuff. Friends, can you imagine? Speaking of which, can you imagine waking up on April Fool's Day? What is today? Wait, wait. Is today April Fool's? What's today? No. Well, the day after. Can you imagine waking up on April 2nd, the day after April Fool's, and, and, and you're dead? Like, that is so crazy, friends. I don't know why or how or who. And they don't want to delete their posts. These viral posts with all this misinformation, people don't even want to delete that. Like, I'm like, why? Like, what's wrong with people? I don't know. I don't know. I don't like all that. I don't like all that. Like, even so-called news pages... We're saying that he uh, D baby was there, that he got shot. One one guy, one person was saying that he got killed. That is so freaking wrong on so many levels, and and the accountability, like man, if I make a, a grammar mistake or a spelling mistake, I I get like so called out, and and you get these cats that are really posting fake news, and 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 it's okay. I don't know what's going on, friends. Yeah, it's so strange, right, right? Like, imagine waking up, like this young man, this artist, you know, this mu music artist. Imagine waking up and, like, the whole world is saying, like, oh, my God, so-and-so died, so-and-so died. And you're like, and that's you they're talking about. <sighs> that's crazy. That's crazy. How are you guys doing? Hola, como esta? Hola, Grisel. What's up, friends? That is wild, friends. And I was, you know, I was like, damn, man, I hope no room error comes like that about me. But but we were playing around earlier, you know, with friends. And I was like, man, like, let a Honda Accord that looks kind of like mine, you know, get, get shot at. They're going to be saying, oh, my God, that's grizzly. Oh, my God, friends. No, but seriously, the, the amount of misinformation and, and those pages don't want to take their post down. They don't want to take it down. They want to leave it just like that with that bad information. They might wordplay a little bit, but it's just wild to me, friends. It's, I just think it's insane. It's insane. Hola, como están, amigos? Yeah, friends. So I already had like a, a quick dinner. I had some baked chicken, baked chicken, some broccoli. And what was the other one? Some little red potatoes. But I'm I'm really full, friends. I'm, I'm full. Hola, buenas noches. Como están? Saludos a toda mi raza. No, lo que estaba diciendo es que que hoy hubieron muchos rumores de que un muchacho, un artista de música, uh, de música rap, que supuestamente lo habían avaliado anoche, pero eso no era cierto. Pero cómo empiezan los rumores y cómo les duelen los que están empezando todas sus falsedades, cómo les duele bajar lo que suben ellos, ese contenido falso. Y se me hace bien, bien raro. Es un, no sé, qué feo. Qué horror para, para ese muchacho mirar que están diciendo que está muerto. Oh, my gosh. That's crazy, friends. But, like they say, como dicen, uh, hasta la mala publicidad es publicidad. Even, 
even uh bad publicity is still publicity i guess so it ain't gonna hurt no rap career definitely <laughs> they don't put you in a shootout homie they don't put you in a some kind of hit oh loud man it, it definitely ain't gonna hurt for business man for for what he does it definitely ain't gonna hurt yes yes friends he wasn't even there, friends. He was not even there. So, so let me let me tell you a little bit. From what I understand, the license plate on that Escalade, and 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 see, this is another thing. Why does it have to be one used for a rap video? I mean, I would think that we're in Houston. It's a big city, and there's tons of those cars. The Escalades, it, it's there. There's a bunch of them out there, like black, black windows, all that, like that same package i'm sure it's like a bunch of them we're in h town you know you see a black tesla you're gonna see 200 more on the freeway so i mean it's a nice vehicle but it's not anything special now if you're talking about like a lambo truck or something like that a certain color more specific then then we're talking but you know like i don't know for instance they, they see people are really crazy like fanatical almost they see a vehicle in a video and automatically, oh my God, that's so and so. Oh my God, oh my God. And and the amount of screenshots that I woke up to, it might as well have been me that they were saying was dead, friends. I woke up to like a thousand messages, like all screenshots. Hey, Grizzy, so and so died. I was like, that's not true. But whatever. I was hearing already about that since last night. And I was like, no, that's not true. Yeah. And, 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 you know, it is what it is. Like I said, you know, even bad publicity is still publicity. So it ain't going to hurt no rap career. Mm. Oh, thank you, Garibay. What's up, Veronica? Thank you, friend. A lot of people ask me, uh, what do I use for my curls for, for this hair? And my hair is long. I, I'm going to probably go get it cut, for instance. Let me show y'all. Look, my hair goes all the way out. Look, you can't even see. My hair goes all the way out. Like, it's... It's my, my arm's length. See, I still got hair here. Man, and when it's long, friends, when it's straight, it's like down to, past my butt. It's long. It's too much. It's like I'm starting to call it hippie hair. So I don't use uh, expensive products. I use like suave, captivating curls. That's one formula. I ran out of that. And then I'm using for this week, because that's what I've got. I'm using um, uh, Tresemme. Tresemme captivating curls. So, yeah yes friends yes man they were so and apparently a lot of girls are all in love with this rapper they love them some d baby man shout out to him man i mean like i say you know it's just crazy like i wouldn't want to i would never want to spread anything like that and just that people find it so easy even wannabe news pages were posting and a feeling how do they and and people not even in the city friends not even that were at the scene like we're saying stuff like that oh that's where I respect the mainstream media so much more because you got these wannabes out there just posting whatever and anything, just clout. And they, and even after they've been told like, no, he wasn't even there. No, he did not die. It still hurts them to delete it because they ain't never seen no numbers like that. It's, it's, I don't know, friends. I'm so, I'm so wild. It's so, yeah. Somebody says, is that my natural hair? I mean, yes yes it's it's uh it's curly i mean us curly curly heads we want straight hair straight hair wants curly hair but i already got used to my hair mm -hmm. why did they put a for we're gonna have to wait for the dudes to get look out of those four dudes four guys go shoot up no no one's a getaway driver one the the, the fourth one we never see him right we got three shooters one getaway driver two cars it's not gonna be until they get popped or arrested which i think would probably be in the next you know probably it's coming soon i'm sure i mean we saw their faces i had everybody trying to tell me who it is and i'm like man keep me away from that shit i don't know nothing i didn't want i don't want to get involved with that right so so because it's very I, i'm thinking it's gotta be some kind of fucking some kind of craziness friends it's some kind of hit some kind of some kind of feud something major it, it, it that right there friends and then stray bullets flying across to a bakery across the street 
hitting cars, dude. Like, a lot of people could have got hurt last night. And that's that's my anger about all of it. I know the streets are going to handle streets. And I know that, that stuff we're never going to avoid. Like, the, the stuff happening, the street stuff, it's always going to be, like, feuds, haters, money, drugs, you know, whatever. But But all of that, it was just so weird. And we will probably get our answers as soon as people start getting arrested. Because one thing for certain, that fourth person, that driver, if they catch that driver first, he's going to be singing. Whoever gets arrested first, or if they turn themselves in, or if they lawyer up, they're probably going to get the sweet end of everything, friends. They're going to get that, they're going to get that, man. They're going to get that kiss. Dude, they're going to get that, they're going to get that opportunity to start running the mouth. So there's no loyalty in none of what happened yesterday. None of what happened yesterday. Ain't nobody going to, friends, somebody's going to get the lesser time, the lesser, it's going to happen, friends. I, I'm, we're already calling that up. Ryan says, I just want hair. Oh, friend, bless your heart. Yeah, they're going to be singing. 107.9 said it was a rapper. All right. So you're going to believe a radio station that nobody listens to? Mm, okay friends you know to me radio is dead like radio is dead 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 okay i know some of y'all like the radio shows in the morning i'm not i'm not gonna count that how many of you guys really listen to the radio on your car or do you listen to the radio from your phone the, the music on your phone okay give me some hearts if you listen to your own music Give me angry faces if you actually listen to the radio. Okay, we're going to wait. <laughs> we're going to wait. Do you actually listen to the radio? Hearts. If you listen to the... the No, if you, if you listen to your phone or whatever music you have on your phone, give me hearts. If you actually listen to the radio, and I'm not talking about... Well, yeah, I guess the shows count too. If you listen to shows on the radio, give me angry faces. Oh, Lord, man, it's about equal. All right. Well, we got, all right, we got something. I can't do all the commercials, y'all. Like, and, and the radios play the same, like, 10 songs over and over. I can't do it, friends. I can't. Y'all are more gifted than me. Yeah. Oh, uh, KRBE Roses. Yeah, yeah, shout out. Yeah, there's some good ones. There's some good stations. I like uh, 104 KRB. Do I listen to the radio? Mm, my Something's got to be wrong with my phone. Or my car not accepting the cable or the auxiliary. Something's got to be real majorly wrong with my car for me to sit there and listen to the radio. Just being honest. Yep. Satellite radio. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Jamie says, I only like roses. Oh, that's what's up. So, yeah, y'all got y'all show y'all listen to. All right, friends. So, yeah, the morning commute, I can understand that. So, whoever said the 107.9, friends, I'm sorry. If you want to believe garbage, go ahead, friends. Y'all should, y'all should be asking these questions, like, but I see this everywhere. If somebody accuses somebody of something, there's a post going on right now that a bald eagle got shot. And, and I'm like, where's, where's proof that, that the bird got shot? Like where it's, there's gotta be surveillance somewhere, somewhere. How can we share? And we don't really have it confirmed. Who made up this story? Like, I want to know like where, whatever, Th did the authorities release really something? Another one. Another story that I think is really crazy, and, and I'm finding it very hard to believe, is the other day in some community, like a HOA type community, apparently the ducks in the pond are an issue. So they contracted some sort of pest control or some kind of company. I'm not going to say names because I don't like this is this is really weird. Supposedly a company was paid to shoot all the ducks and kill them. They want me to post this and throw the company under the rug. And I'm like, okay, can y'all send me pictures of these dead ducks? Because if something like that were to have happened in my neighborhood, we're going to be getting a shit ton of duck pictures. I am so sorry, but I don't believe it. I, Friends, I do not like when people send me stuff and there's no proof for it. That like Y'all should really be very careful sharing some of this stuff that has absolutely no proof yeah what's up how y'all doing oh michael berry's yeah yeah that's what's up friend 
It's AM radio. Man, I haven't heard. Y'all remember uh, Diez Diez AM La Tremenda? Man, like that's a show, like a, a radio station in the morning. El Tío Pancho and La Paquita, I think, or I forgot the, la the lady's name. But there used to be a show a long time ago. And when I was a little girl, my mom would listen to all of that. And she would win tons of prizes on the radio. She would be caller number one, caller number 20. Like, she was always on point. Uh, shout out to Mama Castillo. Yes. Yep. Somebody said that was on ABC 13. Really? Okay, cool. I will share it off of there, but I like proof, friends. I don't want to take somebody's word for just that and blindly post and accuse a company without even getting, like, no proof. I, I don't know. If y'all feel like sharing stuff like that, cool. But I don't. I don't want no, no problems. Hey. So, yeah, friends. Uh, you know, shout out to D-Baby. He is very much alive. Uh, he was not part of that. Uh, these cats were from, like, New York. They had just been in, like, New York, the four of them or something. It was like, I don't know. And and the the the... The guy, his dad is like a house. His dad is like a house speaker, like a president over an organization, kind of like the House of Congress out there. And uh, like his, that was his dad. Like his dad is like a, a political figure out there in the Dominican Republic. So uh, yeah, I, I'm not sure what's gonna happen with all that. I think it's, I think it's pretty, just pretty crazy, man. Pretty ruthless. Um, we posted video. I just posted video earlier about four hours ago. We posted video from surveillance from inside the store. So, you know, the camera's not moving around. You get better glimpse of what happened at some point. So they, they drive up. You see the Charger drive up. And then you see the Mercedes Benz pull up. We never saw that in yesterday's video that I posted. A hood news peep happened to... She could have caught a stray bullet, man. Like, honestly... I was scared when I found out that stray bullets were flying. I said, damn, that was going towards like the peep. Like her truck was parked there. So who needs peep? I guess she was passenger side and she was recording. And you see like the shots fire. You see the, the firepower, right? Well, on this video that we released today, and it's on my page. On this video, it's the surveillance footage. And you see the guys come out. You only see two. Like, you don't see everybody for some reason, you know. Like, I guess it's the timing that they started, you know, recording it. But but the guys, uh, the guys get in the truck. And I guess they're taking their time or something's happening. Here comes the Charger and the Benz. And three people get out. And they start shooting, right? They start shooting. And you see the, 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 the windshield. The windshield to the vehicle just, psh, 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 you see the, like the, like, just like dust. It looks like dust, but it's actually glass. Then you see the driver run into the store and the shooters start pointing their weapons at him and, you know, firing. They start aiming at him and they're firing. Then you see the passenger crawl out of the, the driver's side and also try to make an exit. So, man, friends, that's that was pretty ruthless. And every day we're coming across these different headlines that is that are putting Houston like like a, a ruthless city, man. It's it's crazy the stories that come out of Houston these days. And I, I, I suppose that, you know, I don't want to say it's always been like this, but the crime has always been around. But the stories are just getting like 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 more blatant like these dudes they weren't encapuchados encapuchado means wearing a mask these guys were like with their face out no f's given that's pretty wild friends i don't know what i can't wait to find out more you know like it's i'm really curious like why what happened maybe maybe whoever snitches out will you know give some kind of details and we'll probably hear more if that so yeah friends we're we're on a it's been a whole 24 hours since last night's shooting in the southeast part of Houston at the Gulf Gate, Gulf Gate area. That's going to be Telephone Road um, near uh, Gulf Freeway, Southway side near Telephone, between Telephone and Gulf Freeway, Southway side. Then we had a pedet, no, a bicyclist get struck over off a of Telephone Road as well, man. It's just, just a lot of stuff's happening on the southeast. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah friends so yeah thanks for tuning in and, and supporting the hood news you guys tomorrow's the big day 
Tomorrow we get an award, uh, the hood news, you know, we get an award for, for, with Crime Stoppers. Tomorrow's like the Houston Heroes Award. I'm really like, I gotta, I, I feel sick to my stomach a little bit, like nervous. Like, I feel like I want to throw up. Um, I got a dress. It's just weird. Like, I'm gonna wear a dress. I ain't worn a dress since the presidential awards. Like, you can't force me into a dress, friends. And I wanted to get slacks, but I gravitated towards the dress. For some reason, I'm like, eh, I'll just get a dress. And it ain't like super, super dressy, dressy, but it's cute. I like it. And, mm, uh, so whatever. Like, I'm, I'm really, really nervous. My girlfriend's going to go with me tomorrow. Charlotte, she's going with me. And we're going to meet up with Connie, Hector, like several hood news peeps that are, that bought tickets to show support. And yeah, I'm just excited, man. My, my acceptance speech was only about 30 seconds long. I'm not a person that likes to put a lot of light, you know, or self promote, I guess. Like, I don't, I don't like, I don't know how to, I don't know. I just, I, I just said it off the dome too. I said it, everything off the top of my dome. So we'll see what happens. Um, representing for the hood. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you, friends. Yeah, yeah. I'll probably put a little selfie tomorrow. Mm, I'll probably do that. <laughs> Woo, yes. Oh, did I even get shoes? Mm. I don't even think I got... I'll make something in my closet work, baby. I don't feel like looking for shoes, y'all. Dang, your girl didn't... I don't, I don't even think I got shoes for my outfit. Gee, he's just... Well, you know what? I don't even think I got shoes. I'm going to go in chanclas. Oh, my God, friends. I didn't even get no shoes for this shit. You know what? Let me go check Ross real quick. Let me be right back, friends. I'll be back. I got to go get me some. <laughs> Woo. Oh, loud. Friends, I didn't even get shoes. Jesus. I've been so. Friends, I'm, I put myself last, dude. We, we got to go get some shoes. I'm going to Ross. Now y'all know where I got the shoes from. I got the, the dress from the Galleria, and I'll never go back to the Galleria again. Friends, the Galleria Mall is insane, man. I was like, I went to uh, Neiman Marcus. I got the dress from there. It's real simple. It's not like real frou-frou. And it was actually a really good price. And um, I never, ever, 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 I haven't been to the Galleria in years. I never want to go to the Galleria Mall again, ever in my life. Dude, I, I I was like, man, this is too many people. I did not like it. I felt like a fight. I felt like I was in the hood at the Galleria Mall. Hold on, friends. Yeah, we're, we're going to go get me some shoes right now. I didn't even think about it. I still got time, too. Thank God. Oh, my goodness, friends. I didn't get shoes. I'm just going to make whatever works work, friends. I'm going to make it do what it do. My dress is blue green and pink like it's blue and green like all the way up and down and it's got like splashes of pink it's very like a like an artsy dress dude it's it's very artsy yeah y'all can go with me yes <laughs> friends i forgot shoes i'm gonna go in chanclas fuck it man you know what i even thought about going in sweatpants like i really wanna sometimes in my mind i'm like man i'm gonna dress it down i'm gonna be so real with it like, I even thought about that. Like, I thought about just going in, in, in sweatpants to the uh, thing. I was like, and I told my mom that. And she's like, no, how you can't do that. And I'm like, you know what? You're right. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot the shoes. Man, I'm so glad I was talking to y'all about it. Because I think I got some at home. But I don't know if it's going to be a good match or not. They're And they're black, you know. So, yeah, I think like a nude shoe or a beige shoe. I don't know what would go with those colors. Baby, I have some very, you know what? I want to say that the dress reminds me of a comfy moo. -moo. <laughs> Woo! Friends, the, the, the dress is very comfy. Like, I ain't got to tuck, I, I ain't got to suck it in. I ain't got to push nothing out. Like, man, shit. And, and as soon as I get home, I'm going to release the hounds, baby. Release the hounds. You know, like when you when you take your bra off after a hard day at work or whatever it is, like taking your bra off as a woman at the end of the day is an amazing feeling, dude. Like complete freedom. Like we're, we're only 80% free. 
<laughs> Until that bra comes off, friends. <laughs> Give me some hearts if you can relate. You know what I'm saying. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Okay. I got the car isn't hooked up to the phone. Man, friends, we're going to Ross right here in the hood. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> I for friends, I really forgot about shoes. I hope it's still open. I ain't going to take too long. They already know me. Mm -mm -mm. And if not, I'm going to make it work. Whatever I got in that closet is going to have to work. I forgot. My last, my priority. I'm on my, my last priority sometimes. Yes. What's up, friends? Where are the Jordans? Oh, yes. I got some. I have some Kilroys. Y'all remember the Kilroys? I got some Kilroys that might actually go good. You know what? I got some uh, two trays. The 23s, the, the two tray shoe, it's a pink and gray. That might actually, man, don't even tempt me, friends, because I might even do that, man. I ain't got to pretend. Oh, no, friends, look at this. Look at this mess. Oh, hell no. Look, look. Look. <laughs> nah, your, your girl. Oh, Lord. Mm, mm, mm. I'm, I'm a uh, SOL, baby. No, I got a lot of girl shoes. I should be okay. If anything, I got some, uh, I got some, I got some, I got shoes. I got shoes from my hoochie days. Shit. <laughs> no, I still, you know, I got rid of a lot of my, uh, corporate outfits, like, you know, working for corporate America and stuff. I got rid of a lot of, uh, when I was working for the forklift company, uh, I got rid of a lot of the work clothes, but I still have a lot of the, the dress shoes. So I should be okay. Damn, baby. Early 10 is so till what time, friends? What time are they open? Because I, I th it might be like this. Yeah. Set the girls free. Yes, friends. Yes. Mm hmm. Oh, uh, thank you, friends. Yeah. Fuck it. Man, I don't care. Tomorrow I'll just wear some chocolates, friends. I'll wear pantyhose. <gasps> I need to get pantyhose. Oh, my God. Because my legs, friends. Man, I'm a tomboy. Y'all know, like, last year I had an accident on that dirt bike okay i got a kawasaki at the house like that was my little thing you know a little sports bike you know kawasaki bike um and i decided to go to the park and i tried to friends i thought i could do a wheelie i thought i could really like <laughs> like i was on a horse or something and like the bike landed on me I got scars on my legs like a burn mark from the exhaust i felt very ugly man and uh and then let me tell y'all this <laughs> oh my god oh my god let me tell you all right so the other day it was like nighttime and i was going to a crime scene i was going to a crime scene and and i fell in the driveway like sometimes i fall like it just happens right i've fallen on live on facebook live i've fallen like three times one time y'all didn't know and two other times i fell during the vanessa guillen march in downtown and then I fell on the side of the road by JFK. <laughs> I fell and I just sat down and I just recorded from down. I was like, man, look, y'all, I just fell. All right. So it was like a crime scene a few weeks ago. And I decided to to go. I was like, man, I'm going to go. I'm still up. I'm not sleepy. I'm, I'm good. It was like 1 a.m. So so I go outside. I'm opening my car. I'm, you know, putting my purse in the car, everything. All of a sudden, I fall. Like, I'm... I, load everything right here on the on the passenger side and I, I i i fell behind my car and i fell in a way where i just landed this way my dog murphy he's he's like right like right here over me and i'm like get away murphy get away leave me alone my dog was like <laughs> he came to check on me and i was so annoyed by my dog dude i'm like get away oh my gosh y'all Burlington at 12? Yeah. I fell on a hanger once. Oh, y'all know what I trip on? The dog's toys, dude. Duke. Okay, Duchess. Duchess is an old girl, man. My my girl dog, she's about seven years old. She don't want no freaking toys. Duchess don't give a fuck. Duchess does not care for toys. Sometimes she'll take Maddie's bears, my daughter's bears, from the closet. 
but it's because she smells my daughter like dogs have a keen smell so she probably smells my daughter i think you know but she doesn't destroy the toys she just brings them back with her sometimes and i freak out because though she don't my, my my baby likes stuffed animals like she's got a collection and she's 23 years old but she still like like uh, cherishes her toys and so um duke on the other hand he loves the the dental bones he loves toys he loves all kinds of stuff and i'm constantly i walk barefoot in my house like i like the clean floor that's me sometimes i step on the most sharpest bones like the bone toys the chew toys man that drives me insane y'all and i kick the toy i'm like get this out of here man and duke is really bad dude the other day i lifted the couch like looking for the remote and here comes duke like running under the couch like he looks every time i lift the couch up like he'll go underneath the couch and retrieve a toy i'm like oh my god i don't know just crazy target burlington at dacoma closes at 12 a.m really mm, i don't know if i want to go out there for i'll be okay i'm trying to think what kind of shoes to wear what, what shoes i can wear I think I think I could just come here in the morning. Hold on. Hold on. Let me see. What time is it? Hold on. Let me let me see something. Hold on, friends. Don't hang up. Hold on. So I I can come in at 10 a.m. I just gotta be ready. So I'll be here. <laughs> I'm coming here in the morning. The 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 luncheon starts around 11:30. I gotta be there by 11:30. Sign in with my guest, and then it'll be okay. I'm gonna wing it. I'll wing it, friends. I'll wing it. I ain't even. I ain't even trying to trip, man. Like it's like I have that Jesus mentality. Jesus says, "Come as you are." Mm, it just keeps it more more wholesome. Ross on 11th Street. Dang, they're open right now. <clears throat> well, shit. I might. Man, y'all are tempting me, friends. Is that the pink? Yes, yes. This is. Man, I wish I had pictures. I the the pictures are on this phone. So it's like a. Like a navy blue colored dress with with green. It looks like green leaves, like shooting upwards. And then there's like splashes of pink at the hem at the bottom, and it's this color. So it's like like peacock green, peacock blue, and then this color. Shout out to Milano Nails. This, that's what that's my new spot to go get my nails done. Milano Nails. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna wear what I have, friends. I don't wanna, I don't wanna get buy, go buy some shoes. I thought about it, saying, like, nah, keep the money, keep the money. Yeah, wear what you have. Yeah, 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 for sure. I got something. I, I got some other. I got some some shoes that look like boots, but they're open toe. I might rock that. They're like lace kind of. I think it'll go good, especially if I. Uh, yeah, it'll be okay. Northline Mall. Dang, man, I kind of am tempted. What time do they close? If they close at 11, I can go out there. Mm -hmm. It'll be okay, friends. I'd rather be here early. But but y'all already know. Let me tell y'all. This Ross over here off of 11, uh, I mean, off of 59 and Little York, it never has nothing. Like, everybody buys everything. I go to other Rosses because there's, like, malls nearby. And so people rather go to the mall than the Ross. And I, find, I always find stuff. I go to this one. Man, the pickings are slim. Mm-hmm. So what's going on tomorrow? Your girl is getting a, a receiving an award from Crime Stoppers. You know, um, I was selected to. I don't know how to say the name of the award, but it's a L Liev Award, the Leave Award, the Liev Award, something like that. You know what? I got some brand new Air Force ones on, some brand new white ones. I probably just wear that <laughs> for real, friends. I ain't even trying to trip. I'm not tripping too much about it. Oh no, and I got some pink uh Air Jordan Air Ones. I got some Air Ones that are pink. Okay, I got it. I got it, friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be okay. Check your closet first. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'm gonna check the closet first. I'm sure I have shoes. Mm -mm. You know what would be a night okay. You know what would be a nightmare? Because I haven't worn any of the heels I have, what would be really messed up is if they become unglued. You know, like like 
if you don't wear shoes or constantly, you know, like air them out or friends, that would be really messed up if, if I wear like a pair of shoes that haven't been used that much and they fall apart on me. <laughs> y'all know that that could happen too. Man, hey y'all, man, I think I got some pink, uh, some pink, uh, Crocs. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I, I, hey, I got some. I got, I got Crocs this color, baby. Don't play with me. I'm gonna make it work, man. I don't give a damn. Ain't nobody gonna be filming my feet, man. <laughs> Woo, man, man. Last minute, I'll back up and just wear me a Nike tracksuit, man. I don't care, friends. Like, it, it, like, like, you know. I just wanna be comfortable and happy. Cause if I start feeling miserable, friends, I'm not in the mood. <laughs> crocket i'm a crocket and rocket charlotte says i dare you oh my god charlotte that's my girl we're going together um i yes like when when i got the okay there's gonna be some hurt feelings right like i'm gonna start crying okay when when i had the the two tickets like you said they said you could bring a guest you know i don't have nobody i want to bring you know like 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 you know and and then um you know, I I love my mom, I love my family and everything, you know, but I just feel like I wanted to invite somebody that really, 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 really supports and and my girl supports, man. My friend Charlotte, she supports. Sometimes, you know, and it's the truth, friends. I'm 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 not saying anything jacked up. Sometimes our friends or or strangers or other people support more than than our family. And and I just feel like that with my girl Charlotte, dude. Like, she supports all the time. Like, she's constantly checking up on me. She's messaging me. You know, we become good friends over over all this time. And I'm like, man, I don't want no one but my girl to go with me. So, yeah, like, I, I really, 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 you know, from the bottom of my heart, friend, I love you so much. And I'm glad that you're coming with me. And, and I'm so happy. We've already met before. And she's my girl, man. And I'm just, like, so excited. My girl Connie's going. Hector's going. It's going to be a few hood news peeps. So I really want to show gratitude and have my girl with me because she's been there through scare. Look, she's been with me through scares. Uh, when when somebody, like, was real hateful towards me. When funny things happen. When I don't know what to believe or who to trust. Like, she talks to me and listens to my concerns and stuff. And, and, and we, we, uh, we sip on tea together, you know, like we sip tea, like we, you know, like we're just good friends. So I love her. Yeah. I love Charlotte, man. I love you, friend. And, and, you know, yeah, she's, she's always like, she's a constant in my life. You know, I don't have, I don't have a lot of constants. Like you guys are my constant, like, you know, so I'm very thankful. Like they say, and this is very true, friends. I'm telling you, friends right now, like, like, Pursue your dreams. P your friends, your family, your neighbors, they might not understand. Like, oh, well, my neighbors understand. They love them. Some hood news friends. We're on high alert in my hood, as a matter of fact, because of the story that I shared from the Southeast. But I'll tell you all about that later. But listen to me. If you got a dream, and, 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 and I'm going to say this, and this is the most honest thing I will ever say. It's going to be strangers that support you before it's your own people dude it's gonna be that way i don't know why maybe because they're just tired of you or whatever it is but pursue your dreams and know that people will support you and it's gonna come from unknown on like people that you don't know people that you haven't been raised with strangers they will always support way more than your friends and family ever care to admit or ever do and that is like straight facts friends like my own friends on Facebook that, that I had for forever, not the new ones that came along when I started doing hood news, the old friends, I had one of them saying, Grizzy, what are you doing? You're reaching. And I was like, reaching? That that was weird. I did not like when she said that. I was like, I'm not reaching for nothing. I'm going to reach for the stars, bitch. That's what I said to myself. And And friends, I will say this, and this is very true. Strangers will always support. Even even if you don't believe in yourself at some point, even even when when just keep trying, keep trying. And and if as long as you're sincere, because this is the other one, as long as you're sincere, people are going to support. Now, if you're faking the front, we can see it. We can smell it from a mile away. If you're fake, don't even bother, baby, baby. Hey, hey, 
you. Get back here. Yeah. If you're fake, people can't swallow you. I do videos. Somebody else does videos. I do videos. Y'all know that it's real. Real deal with the hood news, okay? That's all I got to say. When, when it's real, real recognizes real. So shout out to y'all. Man, as long as you're sincere and you are yourself and not pretending to be something you're not. And as long as you're sincerely you and, and unapolog unap unapologetically you, it's going to be okay, man. Whatever it is that you want to do. But just know that the people that you think should support or would support, they're going to be in the back burner until you blow up, until you are recognized. Oh, now... Oh, I'm so proud of you that all now they'll come out the woodwork and say, and you know, I, I love my family and everything, but my, like, just the truth, just the truth. My family was the last ones on board. It's, it's when it started blowing up that now I'm like, oh, cause I always felt like the black sheep. So just keep, keep pushing friends. God will reward you in so many ways. Like it's reconnected me with my family, um, you know, in a lot of ways. And it, all your blessings will come. All your blessings. Mm -hmm. Yep. Just do it. Just do. Keep keep pushing. People are going to see it. Unfortunately, it might not be the people that should. But, but they'll come around. They'll come around once they see that everybody else sees how great you are. And how wonderful you are. They'll, they'll, they'll start coming around. My family came around. Um, I, I feel like sometimes I'm very animated and excited talking about hood news. And maybe my mom is the most excited and I feel like it falls on deaf ears sometimes with my siblings. And I'm just like, okay, well, they're missing out. You know, like, I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm really excited and, and, you know, it is what it is. Hey, what's up, friends? Yeah. Heisenberg says, it's crazy how backwards it is. Yeah. Yep. The real ones will always step up without wanting any recognition. Yes, yes. Yeah. 100. Family can be the absolute worst. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, You know, I blocked my dad. My dad. I love my dad. Like, that's daddy. El daddy. I called my father. I call him daddy. Daddy. When when he, he started following the hood news about two years in. Like one day he just popped up on my feed, my dad, my own father, and he says, "Coño, qué está pasando aquí? Te van a matar, pendeja!" Like my dad was like, "They're gonna kill you, you fool!" And I was like, "Who's this?" And I started reading. I was gonna block his ass, friends. That was my own dad. He's like, "Andas de payasa, andas de payasa, te van a matar a la verga." My dad would say, like, he's Panamanian. So that's where I get the rambunctious, you know, loud sassiness. It's a lot from my dad. My mom's Mexican, uh, born in San Benito, Texas, raised in, in Nuevo Leon for a little while. And then they came back to the States. You know, my mom was born here in Texas, but, but she's like Mexican. And, and my, my dad, he's from Panama. I don't know. They hooked up when she was working at a bakery on the North side somewhere. I don't know too much. That's some crazy stuff. But yeah, my, my daddy won her over and long story short, I'm, I'm doing a live feed and there's cops. It's like some kind of crime scene. And, and some weird man starts like cussing in the, in the feedback. I'm like, who is this? And come to find out it was my own dad, y'all. So I blocked Papa Castillo. He's blocked as hell. Man, my, my own dad. Yeah. Coño. Oh yeah. Coño. Que paso coño? Chucha. No, my dad used to say chucha tu madre. Like chucha. Like I don't know what chucha is. Like uh, I know what chocha is, but chucha, I like, guess like, fuck. I don't know. <laughs> The strongest people in the world say F everyone else and create their own path. Yes, yes, friend. So, yeah, like that. my dad is still blocked. I refuse to unblock my father because of the way he acted. And people were like, I said, yeah, that's my dad. I just blocked him. And everybody was laughing, dude, because I'm very honest. I said, hey, everybody, keep it respectful in the, in the comments. I just blocked my own father. And people were like, man, I'm a hoot. I'm a hoot. It is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> Why not, Papi? Well, we just always called him Daddy. I, I, Daddy. I don't, I don't know. Papi just wasn't like, that wasn't like the nickname we had for him. We'd say Daddy, Daddy, but we couldn't say it when we were kids. We grew up saying it Daddy. Like, and it just, it, it just stuck. I have a friend, Her, she's Puerto Rican. And that was my dad's best friend, a Puerto Rican man. And they call him Papo. 
Papo. That was how they called their dad. Papo, Papo. Uh, it's just different nicknames. Papa. Hey, Papa. You know, we call my dad Papa too. Um, yeah. Yes. Hey, friends. How y'all doing? So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and let y'all go. I'm going to see what's going on. I got a plan now for, for Ross. I got to go look at shoes. Um, trying to see if anything pops off. I was told that there was a lot of police activity off of uh, Wood Forest on the east side, but the lady never responded, and I don't want to waste gas going out there for for what? Like I don't want to do uh, blank call, run, uh, like blank runs. Y'all y'all have me doing that sometimes, and I refuse as much as possible. I refuse to do that. Like I ask, when did it start, or how long do you think this has been going on? And can you send me proof? I won't use it, but I need proof that something is happening, and I'll be on my way. I don't like the citizen app. I don't like that because they post stuff real late or it's not accurate. I don't like that 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 app. I don't rely on it. Not you know anybody can put a bunch of scanner feeds and stuff like that. I don't want to do it. I don't want to deal with it. Um, but yeah, like I kind of want to see proof, and she didn't want to do any of that, so I'm like, nah, I ain't gonna go out there. So if anybody knows if anything popped off, let me know. Yes, friends. All right. Well, more soon tomorrow. I love y'all. Be safe. And more hood news on the way. It's only 10 o'clock, so we'll see what what happens. Um, let me see about this store. And, yeah, be safe, friends. Bye.